I've lived in so many places and we've probably had 30 houses since we got married. Overseas, we move into them, but this is the only house that I've got emotionally attached to out of all of them. When I come home, um, whether I've been traveling or I've been to the city or anywhere, as soon as I turn into Mount Morton Road, there's a feeling of serenity and relaxation. And you come over the hill, you've got the full view of the city that you've left behind that pace. And then you come into this really quiet, modern, well-equipped house. And it's just a beautiful place to be. Yeah, we bought the house in 2007 and decided we wanted to expand the, the living area um, and change the whole design. And when COVID came, we handed over the house to a builder who completely gutted it. And we didn't just want them to do new bathrooms and kitchens and design inside, but we wanted the outside expanded. So the decking that you look at from this living area, uh, it's about double to what it was before. And yeah, you can have a party here for 50, 100 people in and out, no problem. Yeah, the swimming pool is something that everybody talks about. Um, I, we can't take credit for it because it was here before we bought the house. And what they've done is they've focused on building it into the land very naturally so that it looks like a traditional lagoon. And they had to uh, adjust themselves to the land because of the big granite rocks that are there. So it's shaped around those rocks. When we bought the house, I'd, I'd grown up in this area, so I knew it, but we bought the house um, online. We were overseas at the time. Got some friends to check it out, but put in a bid and bought the place sight unseen because we just knew how beautiful it was and we liked the design of the house. We focused on the three split levels. Downstairs is family and guests when they come to stay. The middle level is a fairly extravagant, large master. One other feature of the house is that um, there's a balcony to every bedroom, a, a decking, and there's a sitting area out there with a door connecting to those decks. So somebody who wants to sit out and read, uh, they can do that. It is quiet here, mainly because we're on a large piece of land, which is a little more than an acre, and most of the houses around us are similarly large. Um, it's not a busy through road, so we don't get a lot of traffic. Uh, the only noise you really get are, are the birds, and there are so many of them, uh, and other animals that come and visit us. When we did the renovation, we wanted to modernise the house, so we've put 20 um, solar panels on the roof, 5.5 kilowatts. Uh, the water tanks have been reconnected, and they cover all of the grey water in the swimming pool and garden. We also put in new windows on all of the upper levels so that we had the floor to ceiling, and they're UV protected so that you don't lose heat or, or, or get cold from those areas. There's a split system heating and air conditioning, and we have the feature gas fireplace in, in the main area as well. The, the location here is ideal for whatever you want to do. Um, you could jump on in the Monash as long as you're not in peak hour traffic. It's 25 minutes into the city. Uh, we've got Fountain Gate 10 minutes away. There's a local IGA nearby. Uh, anybody who wants to work from home here, you've got the space to be able to do it. There's a study area downstairs if you wanted to have it separated. Uh, it's just a lovely environment and I think it encourages a positive work attitude too. Uh, it's, a, it's just a really friendly, nice area. Lots of kids, people walking, walking their dogs, uh, sports facilities close by. It's terrific. Everybody says hello up in the hills. <laughs>